So our next speaker is Bud Parr, uh, who's traveled here from New York. And we're delighted to have him. New York. Sorry? Our boisterous New York. Boisterous New York, yeah. He was uh, earlier on, there was a New York. Oh, there they are again, the New York table. <laughs> you can always spot them. They're, uh, they're a little bit rowdy. Um, but yeah, so, so uh, uh, Bud is responsible for an excellent publication called The New Dynamic. Um, if you uh, search for The New Dynamic, you'll find all kinds of interesting material on exactly this kind of, uh, this kind of content around static site generation, Jamstack, all, all of that, all good stuff. And uh, Bud's going to do a talk to, for us uh, today about Hugo. I'm a massive static site generator nerd, as I think I've mentioned, so I'm excited about this. Um, Take it away, Bud. Bud Thank Power, you. everyone. Bud. Thank you. So um, the name of my talk is Go, Go, Hugo. And Phil actually helped me name this. And it's a lot more exciting of a name than I would have come up with myself. Um, but as he said, my name is Bud Parr. And I run a site called The New Dynamic. Um, if you don't know me, um, uh, you wouldn't know that how excited I am to be here and how uh, Sorry. And how excited I am even that this conference exists. Um, I built my first static site for a client in 2013, and I've never looked back, and I've built hundreds of sites since then um, using this paradigm. Um, in 2014, feeling a little bit lonely in the space, I built the new dynamic.org, which originally the name was Static as the New Dynamic, and I've since lost the static because now we call it Jamstack. But um, so that site, I originally collected links and that sort of thing. Now we have a database of tools um, with 180 items or poss possibly even closer to 200 now. Uh, hundreds of articles, showcase videos, that sort of thing. Um, I've been promising to put a job board on there for a while, but um, side projects. So um, I'm also a Hugo maintainer and I run a meetup in New York City called uh, a Jamstack meetup. And, um, and a Slack for people to chat about these topics and that sort of thing. And so you can find the link to the Slack um, on the newdynamic.org. So um, Hugo is uh, what we call the world's fastest framework for building sites. And it's written in Go, which is partly why it's um, so fast. It was created in 2014 by Steve Francia, who is now actually on, the Google's, uh, on Google's Go team. Um, Hugo is a very popular tool. It has 30,000 stars on uh, GitHub, um, over 275 themes, um, and a lot of contributors, over 440 at last count that I saw. So, um, but a lot of people don't like Hugo. Um, I talked to a lot of people about it, and they, the first thing that comes up is, well, it's not JavaScript. Okay, fair enough. So, it's not, and I can only shrug at that. There's nothing I can do about that. But it's also opinionated, and a lot of people complain about it being opinionated, but it's a framework. So um, as frameworks go, it does a lot for you, and that comes at the cost of, of opinions. And then people don't like those nested babushka templates, and they're just a little bit weird, and they take a lot of getting used to. Um, and you can see kind of an example here right from the docs, and it's just weird, you know? So thinking about this, I thought, well, maybe I'll just rename the talk and call it Hugo the Good Parts, you know? Just focus on the things that, that I like about Hugo. Um, so the first thing that we talk about, so the people that like Hugo, the first thing that we talk about uh, with Hugo is performance. And of course, um, it's very fast. Uh, while other tools are just kind of thinking about what they want to do, Hugo is done. Um, and, you know, for me, my sites range from, say, 2,000 to 10,000 pages or something like that. And, and the average build time for one of my sites, um, with a fair amount of logic in it, is about three and a half seconds. Um, some can go higher. Uh, a small site's going to build within a second. Um, and it's getting faster all the time. The latest release, this is a, this is a measurement from the latest release, and, and the change has actually been pretty dramatic from what I've seen in builds. But not only is Hugo fast in its build time, but Hugo wants you to build your sites faster. Um, it gives you some tools like these template, template metrics that will help you identify um, places that you know, you're experiencing bottlenecks and show you opportunities for uh, caching templates so that you can improve your overall performance. And of course, sometimes even um, three seconds is too long. So 
Hugo has a fast render feature that will just build whatever that you're working on right now. And I don't know how well you can see that or not, but I've added just a piece of content here for a demonstration. And it shows up, and, and the timing on that is 478 milliseconds, so uh, about a half of a second. Oops. So the other thing that we talk about when we talk about Hugo is, is it for simple sites or is it for complex sites? Well, it is actually good for simple sites um, because it's a framework, and it does a lot for you, right? Um, there's minimal configuration. Um, and you can see here I put the file structure of, of a basic site that I put up. It has one page of content and then I added a theme and you're good to go. You have a website. You can see that there are a lot of uh, built-in templates that you can use. I put the metadata templates here and that sort of thing. And with all the themes and that sort of thing, you can get, you can get going um, with minimal effort. But it's also very good for complex sites because it allows you, particularly with the build times, it allows you to build whatever kind of queries that you need to in your templates, no matter how complex they are, you're still gonna have some pretty good build times. Um, it can consume data files, it can also consume external data files within your templates, um, and it plays nice with Webpack, like if I have uh, mustache templates or something like that I need for, for some tool or another, I can, I, I can put those into my Hugo site. Um, and in Hugo, relationships are pretty easy. So um, you, Hugo allows you to index any of your content and then access that with a simple query and it's a lot easier to write and a lot, easy, and a lot faster um, on your build. So everything that Hugo does is about having, being very efficient um, in your builds and in your coding. Um, and you can transform your content to anything. So as your, con as your websites get more um, complicated, maybe just outputting HTML is not going to be enough. So Hugo natively supports output to formats like JavaScript and JSON, XML. Um, we use JSON quite a bit, but you can also output to AMP. Um, in all of my sites, I output uh, header and redirects files for Netlify so that I can control my server from there. I can add caching and content uh, security policies and that sort of thing right from my build and control it there. And Hugo um, has a bundles feature which because there is no configuration, Hugo just wants to take your content from a content folder and output it into a public folder. And um, what bundles allow you to do is to give, take some control over that content. So if you have assets or some of the content um, that you may not want to output uh, or anything like that, you can control it with Hugo. And then an asset pipeline. So, uh, now, if you need to build CSS and, and JavaScript, which you do, um, you can build those right in Hugo, and it's very fast. It's faster than anything you're gonna get in Node. And um, you can do that having no external dependencies. So if you want a very tightly encapsulated site, you can do that with Hugo. Um, it also you know, minifies and fingerprints your assets and that sort of thing. You could uh, use uh, CSS in your templates and that sort of thing. Your, your asset files can read from templates. So that's very thorough. Um, and then the last thing that people um, don't appreciate about Hugo is the binary. So Hugo uh, ships as a single binary. You could, this is an example of a script a friend of mine wrote that you can just um, add to your site and then just add uh, bring in any kind of binary or any um, binary for any machine into your site and ship that with your site. So that your site, it, you can build it today as, as uh, Eric was just saying, build things that last. You can ship the binary with your site and it's gonna be the same build today as it is in 10 years. Um, it also makes um, upgrades painless because with that single binary, we just upload a new binary, we run our site, no errors, we push it, we're good. And then this is a new feature in Hugo, is uh, error handling. So now error handling is in the browser, and you can see it, everything is very clear here, where the, where the error is and what template, and you can uh, link right to the error from your, uh, from your command line. And then lastly, um, all the CMSs. So this part is very important uh, from the very beginning, of course, if you have clients or marketing people or anything like that, they need to access the site. 
from a, um, from a CMS. And so now there are a lot of CMSs that we use. I use Forestry quite a bit because it's a very elegant solution, but there's also Datto CMS, uh, Netlify CMS, which is open source, as well as a couple of uh, newer players, Apernetic and Hocus. Um, so, you know, it's one-stop shopping. Um, we have a pretty good community on the discourse site, and uh, if you go on there uh, and need help or anything like that, people are always there to help you. And I think that's it. Um, and I have 24 seconds left, that's good, right? Yeah.